Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been busy. Uh, today I want to talk to you about this Curahi trailer. This is a six and a half by 14 tandem axle landscape trailer. In case anyone's looking for one of these out there on the marketplace, because for some reason, utility trailers are in great demand right now. This has uh, two 3,500-pound axles, and if you look at this little label right here, it's saying the gross vehicle weight rating is 7,000 pounds. Well, the trailer is, uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's including the trailer and cargo. I believe this trailer weighs about 1,200 pounds, 12 or 1,400. You have to deduct that from the 7,000. Um, we bought this trailer to replace a car trailer that we had out here. Car trailer was a little long. And it doesn't work very well for landscape purposes because you need some side rails. We're going to add uh, a rack for weed eaters and maybe a basket on the front of this. But this trailer has a four inch channel. If you're looking for a good trailer, four, uh, minimum four inch channel tongue that wraps back to the axle. When you're looking under here, you want that tongue to go all the way back there. Well, you can't see because of the spare tire, but it goes all the way back to the front axle. I'll go to the other side. The frame is two by three angle, which is plenty strong enough. My car trailer had it was set up just like this for the most part, other than the top rails. The top rails are two by three angle, is what it appears to be. Uh, this particular trailer came with a spare tire mount, and we were able to throw in, got the guy to throw in a spare tire. I'll tell you about that more in a second. You have LED lighting, marker lights on the side. Even though these are not the best, I like the type that are mounted flush with the the frame, the frame rail. You have a marker light there as well. Teardrop fenders. They're not the diamond plate that we had on our other trailer, but still they're they're fine. Nothing wrong with that. You got stake pockets in case you wanted to add some two by fours to put some siding up in here or whatever. Um, LED lighting back here at the back, which is kind of low actually some of the trailers it's mounted higher than that but we can live with that just be careful this does not have the dovetail like our car trailer did uh, it's really not necessary uh, we, we can run our zero turn mower up on here with no problem you have a heavy duty gate the gate it has tubing two inch it looks like two inch tubing across there it supports uh, on the outside edge is two by three angle once again, and this this gate will lay flat on the trailer, or it's removable. You can see the hinges down here. You can get off to the side, you get a better look at these hinges. Um, and you see the trailer that, that that shaft that the trailer, I mean the trailer gate rides on. It does not extend the whole length of the trailer, the width of the trailer, I should say. But you just raise that up, and you can remove the tailgate with no problem. Pretty good trailer, from what I can tell. This gate is rated at 2,000 pounds. There's a little handle right here, so when you go to lower it in either direction, you have something to hold on to so you don't smash your fingers. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, this gate does not have a spring assist. Uh, you could easily add a spring assist of some sort. I'm not fan, a big fan of the Gorilla Assist, which runs big springs, like garage door springs, down the top rail of your trailer. Not a big fan of that. I think it looks ugly, and I think you get damaged. There are other options out there. You may have to make some modifications. You can get a spring assist spring. Okay, uh, yeah, let me see down here. We have uh, LEDs down at the back. I'm not sure what that little piece of angle is for. I have no idea, but it's on there. We have pressure treated two by eights going all the way across. And something you want to look look for is how are these two by eights attached to the floor? Of the trailer it's hard to tell all this stuff on here all right but look, look, look here Let's see if we get it we have two screws per board all the way across so it's in this particular trailer it's attached back at the back with that piece of angle we've got two screws per board right here about halfway up once again working our way towards the front of the trailer we have more screws right here and then at the very front your typical angle iron that holds the boards down 
And you're probably wondering why I notated that. Well, on a, what is that trailer? Not, uh, what is it, striker trailers? All you have is the angle up front and the angle at the back holding your boards down. And the problem is these boards will start to bow. Once they get a little age on them, start drying out, they'll bow out on you. All right. The only problem we had when we bought this trailer, I'm going to zoom in right down here, is this broken stud. And I'm probably going to make a video on that real soon. Uh, as we When we were at the dealership the other day, the owner of the dealership noticed the stud was loose. Actually, the nut was cross-threaded, and he broke off the stud in the process of trying to uh, tighten up the lug. So what he did for us was throw in a radial tire, spare tire and wheel over there. So radial tire. By the way, this trailer comes with radial, ti radial tires. That's a big deal. These are much better tires. They're kind of flat on the on the running surface where a bias ply will wear out a lot quicker and is much cheaper tire. So there you go. Oh, by the way, we have a breakaway up here, a breakaway box. Uh, that's, you know, in case you're not familiar with a breakaway box, there's a battery inside there. And if this trailer would, were to disconnect from the tow vehicle, at that point, this battery would lock down the brakes on the trailer. And speaking of brakes, there are trailer uh, there are brakes on both axles. That's what you're looking for. Brakes on both axles. A lot of states that's required. I know over in Alabama, you can get by with just one brake per axle or probably no brakes. Another thing to note is this trailer is equipped with a two and five sixteenths ball or or a hit what what is this? The tongue up here. And the coupler. Two and five sixteenths ball is what you're going to need. That's very large. My car trailer only required a two inch ball. It does have a seven way. Set my sunglasses down. A seven way plug. Everything works as it should. The jack, I believe this is rated at 2,000 pounds, is what I heard, what they told us. And it operates very smooth. Now, this is not a set back jack. When they say set back, what they're talking about, move the jack closer to the front of the trailer to allow to lower the tailgate on your vehicle. So you need to take that in consideration if you are, uh, if that's going to be a concern or an issue for you. Uh, the way I see it, this jack bolts on there and we could easily move it closer to the front of the trailer, the bed of the trailer, if necessary. It would require putting a piece of angle in here, but it's not that big of a deal. For us, this is not an issue. High quality trailer. Um, we bought this trailer 2200 and something dollars here in Georgia with tax. It was $2,400 out the door. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you so much.